Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Blake, if you don't know me. I've made a couple videos on this channel already, but today I'm going to be doing an introduction, get to know me, Q&A style video. For anyone who might come across my channel who isn't coming from my Instagram or TikTok, or for people who have been following me on my other platforms and maybe just have some questions and want to get to know me better. So I asked you guys on Instagram last week to send in any questions you might have about me or my life and I'm going to answer some of them, so let's get started. Okay, I have the questions typed out over here on my laptop, so here we go. Okay, question number one. A lot of people asked how old I am. I'm 25. I also had a lot of people ask how tall I am because I know that that is hard to read over photos and videos, but I'm 5'7". Okay, question number two is, what is your zodiac sign, your birth chart, what's your Enneagram number? I got a lot of questions like that. I'm a Sagittarius, and for anyone who is into astrology at all, I'm a Cancer rising and a Capricorn moon as well. And my Enneagram number, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I took it a few months ago. I should probably take another one just to make sure it's accurate, but when I took it last time, I got a three wing two. And the little description about that says, people who identify as Enneagram type threes with a two wing primarily identify as three types, but share some characteristics with two types. They tend to be ambitious, charming, <laughs> and enthusiastic in their behavior. They are driven to love and achieve. They tend to adapt their attitude to their environment, which can make them very effective communicators. There's a bunch more about it, but that's the little text blurb that comes up. If you guys haven't taken the Enneagram test, it's really interesting. I love any type of personality tests, so I was all about that question. <laughs> question number three is what skincare products do I use and what is my skincare routine? If you guys are interested, I can do a full video on my morning and night skincare routines, but I'll just go through the products I use now. My three favorite brands are Ola Henriksen. I love the Truth line. I also love Good Molecules and Fresh. From the Ola Henriksen Truth line, I love the eye cream, the vitamin C serum, the moisturizing gel. From Good Molecules, I love their vitamin C serum, their super peptide serum, their eye cream. I also use, I'm probably gonna butcher this, but their niacinamide toner. I think that's how you say that. And then from Fresh, I love the Soy Face Cleanser and the Lotus Youth Preserve Night Recovery Cream. I think that's what it's called. I don't use those all in one go. I use some in the morning, some at night, and I also switch out um, some serums here and there. The next question was asked a lot and is asked all the time on my TikTok, and it is describe your job, degree, and what a typical day looks like. So full time, I work as a designer at an architecture firm. I majored in interior design. I think a lot of people tend to think that interior design means interior decorating. If you ask any interior designer, one of their biggest pet peeves is telling people they're an interior designer and then having people think that all they do is like take a trip to home goods and pick out furniture. <laughs> it drives us all a little nuts because I think there's a big misunderstanding in the industry. So I majored in interior design. I would imagine that it's different school to school. And I would also imagine that it's different if you're doing commercial design or residential. My program was pretty architecturally focused and was more leaning toward the commercial side. So I did an internship in college and I ended up working there after I graduated. I work for a commercial design firm and I mostly do corporate interiors. So what that means in a very broad sense, I'm trying to explain this um, to people who might not know anything about it. Um, what that means is that there are, so there's core shell architects who design the core, um, the, the structure internally, all of the exterior design. There's way more than that that goes into it, but that's not the type of um, design architecture I do, so I can't speak on that too much. But basically an interior designer then comes in and designs the entire floor plate. We do floor plans, ceiling plans, all different types of 2D drawings. We do construction documents, we do architectural details, lighting concepts, often where um, electrical outlets go, where power and data goes, we design every little nitty gritty thing down to tiny, tiny dimensions of every 
little thing you see. <laughs> also, obviously, specifying all of the finishes. I feel like I'm probably missing a few things, but I'm trying to explain this in a clear and concise way if anyone's interested in going into the field. My day-to-day -day life varies greatly depending on what project I'm working on that day, what phase of the project I'm on. I can't show or talk specifics because of client confidentiality, but I can generally talk about it. Right now, the two projects I'm on are both in the construction phase. So right now it's a lot of reviewing things that are currently on the construction site, approving things before they're ordered, things like that. That was a very long-winded answer to that question, but that's a general explanation of what I do. The next question is, how long have you been plant-based? Why did you go plant-based, etc. I have been eating plant-based for five and a half years. It will be six years in June, 2021. I used to have just a little bit of a difficult relationship with food in high school and the beginning of college. I felt like I just, like my skin wasn't doing great. I wasn't feeling awesome. I couldn't find a way to eat that felt good to me. And I heard a lot about being plant-based and I was really interested by it. And one day I just decided to try it and I ended up loving it and just sticking to it. It made me feel great and we're all different, of course, but it personally just works for me and makes me feel my best. So this is not me preaching to you. <laughs> I'm just answering why I eat this way. I also had a question or two asking if I ever eat animal products. I don't intentionally, but I have accidentally eaten things with dairy or eggs in them before and it's fine. But I don't intentionally buy anything or cheat or anything. People ask me often if I ever like cheat on my vegan diet, but I don't, it doesn't feel like a diet. I just, it feels like second nature at this point kind of, so I don't even think about it. The next question kind of going off of this is, do I have any advice for anyone trying to transition to being plant-based? I would say my biggest tip is to be patient with yourself and let yourself be imperfect. By that I mean, don't think that you, it needs to be black and white uh, right now or ever if that's not what's best for you. I think that a lot of people try to transition like that and that just doesn't work for everyone. So I guess my piece of advice would be to follow a lot of Instagram accounts, YouTube channels, TikToks, blogs, etc., that have recipes on them that you can gather inspiration from because that really helped me for the first couple years when I was starting out. I still find inspiration from things like that, but it's so easy for me now and I really don't even think about it. But in the beginning, I really had to think about it. It made cooking a lot more fun for me actually because I really had to think about it more and be creative and have fun with it. And yeah, I would say just take it day by day. And if it doesn't work for you to be fully plant-based, just do the best you can. Um, I think that's the best anyone can do. Just do the best you can. The next question following off of this might be a little bit of a trigger for some people. So this is your warning to skip ahead if that's the case. I got a couple questions asking if I've ever had an eating disorder. I just know that talking about that can be a little triggersome for some people, so that's why I prefaced that. I personally don't think I've ever really had an eating disorder, but I did have times in like high school and college where I would really heavily restrict myself, and I just had a little bit of a skewed perception of my body and yeah it just wasn't healthy it wasn't anything serious but i remember always being like oh i shouldn't have that that's that's too many calories blah 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 i don't feel like that at all anymore i don't restrict myself i let myself live and i know it's really hard to get there but again the best you can do is just take it day by day and know that you deserve to be happy and that you deserve to eat what you want and you only have one life so you might as well enjoy it and feel good while you're here. The next question is, how do you balance full-time working with making social content, filming, editing, etc.? I, I don't know if I have a great answer for this because I am someone who really finds it hard to relax and take time from work. I'm trying to work on it because I think 
There's this idea that being a workaholic is like this awesome thing to brag about, but when I feel like I'm in a workaholic cycle and mindset, I feel like it's incredibly unhealthy and it's not something that I feel good about. So I am trying to be better with having balance in my day, but um, lately how I manage the two is I often wake up early in the morning to edit, film, create content. Right now it's eight o'clock. I start my full-time job at 8.30, so I woke up at 6.30 today to shower and get ready and do this. And I'm a morning person, so I'm, I'm fine doing this. But then I start my full-time job at 8.30 and I work until 5.30 or 6.30. I often will work later if I have a deadline and I have a lot more work to do. I will take a short break in the middle of the day and I'll work more on social content, replying to emails about brand deals, reviewing agreements for brand deals, all that kind of stuff. And then once I finish my full-time job at night, I will usually take a little bit of a break to either work out if I didn't do that in the morning, uh, make dinner, and then I usually get back into editing, creating content, things like that. Editing, doing this stuff is honestly such a fun hobby for me, so it's fun for me, but I do recognize that relaxing and taking time to yourself away from that stuff is so important, so I'm trying to find some balance within that as well. I'm just not there yet. <laughs> the next question is, does filming your life make you more motivated to be productive? I thought this question was interesting because I don't think I've really thought about this much, but yes, it definitely does. When I started posting eat in a day videos on TikTok, I found myself wanting to get more creative and wanting to have more variety in what I ate each day because I like to watch those videos and get ideas from them. And I think if people are watching my videos, maybe they want the same thing and don't wanna see me eating the same thing every single day. So I think it has pushed me to expand myself a little bit in that sense. And I also think that creating content and um, now filming every day for my weekly vlogs definitely makes me more motivated and productive because I have to manage my time a bit better now and I really enjoy doing this. So I make it a big priority to set aside time and really be efficient with my day to fit this stuff in. So my answer to that is yes. <laughs> the next question is, where are your favorite places to shop? I get this question often as well. I think my number one place to shop for clothing is probably Aritzia. I just walk in there and lose my mind. I lose all willpower to refrain from buying things. I just am obsessed. I also love Madewell for jeans. I will recommend Madewell jeans for the rest of my life. They're so good. If you are looking for a good pair of jeans, check theirs out because I love them. I also love Everlane. My favorite leggings are from Everlane. They have really good basics. And I also love Zara. I know that fast fashion isn't great. I'm trying to be better about that, but taking it day by day. The next question is, do I have a roommate? Yes, I do. I get this question all the time and we think it's so funny because a lot of people just think I live alone because she's not always in my videos, but my videos really are just like a quick snippet of my day and we just aren't around each other all the time. She has a full-time office job as well and she also works from home, but on the side, she also is a yoga instructor. So she's also always busy working. She's actually teaching yoga right now. That's why she's not here. But yes, I do have a roommate. <laughs> the next question that I also got a lot is, where am I from? Am I originally from Boston? How long have I lived here? I'm not originally from Boston, but I'm originally from Massachusetts. I grew up a little bit outside of Boston. I moved here for college and I've lived here since. The last question is, do you like where you live slash work? Do you see yourself anywhere else in the future? So as of now, I really enjoy Boston. I love New England. I don't see myself being anywhere else, but the future can obviously change. I have no idea how I'll feel in a few years, five years, 10 years, I have no idea. But right now I do love being here. I would love to be able to work remotely and travel all over the world and then still have a home base in Boston. That is the ultimate goal. That has been the goal for years. I would really love to be able to do something like that. So we're manifesting. <laughs> 
All right, that is all the questions I'm going to answer in this video because I don't want it to get too long. But if you guys have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them below. I'm happy to do another video like this at some point. Or if you guys have any video requests or ideas that you would like to see from me, I would also love to hear those below. I'm going to end this video here, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.